We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I've got the great pleasure of being with Mr. Bruce Gracie who is Special Advisor for International Organizations for Industry Canada. Bruce, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. My pleasure, thank you. Now this conference is a very important conference, it's once every four years. The last one was in Hyderabad in 2010. Mm -hmm. This is also followed by the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. Uh, the, this one is in Busan and the previous one was in Guadalajara. I wanted to talk to you about what your impressions have been over the last four years. Well, at the Plenipotentiary Conference in Guadalajara, uh, I had the opportunity to chair Committee 6 on Administration and Management. Now, one of the key issues that we discussed at that conference was the uh, continued implementation of results-based management. Now, we, uh, at this particular conference, this development conference, uh, particularly in relation to the uh, activities of the working group of the plenary on the draft strategic plan as it relates to the development uh, sector, uh, we noticed that there is a concerted effort to um, place the activities and programs of the development sector within the framework of results-based management. Now this is a very positive development, uh, one that has continued since uh, well before Guadalajara and continues to, to be strengthened as time goes on. Now what they're trying to achieve at this conference is to link uh, goals, uh, objectives uh, of the strategic plan with the programs and activities of the action plan to be approved by this conference. Now why this is important because it's further linked to the financial plan and to the budget structure, uh, the biennial budgets that will be approved by council in the next plenipotentiary period 2016 to 2019. So in that respect uh, this is a very uh, positive and critical step uh, for the development uh, uh, conference in ensuring that the high priority activities of the development sector are uh, properly financed. Now there have been some new approaches here at this uh, conference in terms of linking goals and objectives of uh, ITUD to programs and activities of the Dubai Action Plan. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about those. Well, as I just mentioned, the, um, the effort will be to clearly link the goals and objectives uh, in the draft strategic plan, which of course will need to be reviewed, um, further reviewed by the council working group that was established for this purpose, and further reviewed by council when it meets in May. But the plenipotentiary conference will be responsible for approving the overall strategic plan and of course the financial plan. So the uh, activities here in clearly linking the objectives of I2D to the programs and activities that are to be approved uh, by this conference as part of the Dubai Action Plan are very important, extremely important, to ensure that those programs and activities uh, receive the proper financing in the next period. Now, it'll be important for ITUD to develop strategies to, uh, to follow in ensuring that uh, those actions are followed up um, in a in a framework, um, in, a, in the overall framework of results-based management. And what are the major challenges facing us here? Well, uh, I'm sure everybody realizes that, um, that the, the major challenge is fi financial. Um, the development sector um, uh, budget was approved by the council uh, last June, uh, the biennial budget for 2014-2015. Now the overall budget was in the neighborhood of 58 million Swiss francs, but it has to be realized that approximately 80% of that cost, that price, that uh, figure, uh, represents staff costs. So it'll be extremely important for ITUD to develop strategies uh, to um, partner with other agencies, particularly financial institutions such as World Banks, the World Bank, uh, regional development banks, uh, donor countries, um, other institutions and organizations that um, have uh, the financial wherewithal to actually finance projects, It'd be extremely important that um, I2D develop these strategies, or identify ways and means of ensuring that the um, programs and activities that are approved here can actually be followed up uh, through concrete projects uh, in the next period. And what outcomes do you anticipate coming from this conference? 
Well, as part of the, um, the Dubai Action Plan, uh, the linkage will also be important in terms of the programs that are approved, the regional initiatives that were discussed at the regional uh, preparatory meetings, um, and many activities uh, are common across the regions. Those activities uh, clearly uh, need to be um, financed in the next period. Um, examples are uh, the transition from analog to digital broadcasting. Another good example is emergency communications, which is very important for many countries. Um, broadband rollout, another extremely important topic that needs to be um, uh, properly financed in its various aspects into the next period. So all of these various dimensions need to be linked clearly together. They need to be linked back to the strategic plan and of course ultimately to the budget structure of the organization. Bruce Gracie, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. My pleasure, thank you. And thank you for watching too.